I think it is actually not a bad thing that there are um, differing views around what we do about the economy, what we do about public services, um, what we do about trying to uh, persuade more people to support uh, independence. Right? I think, actually, I think that is healthy and co potentially constructive. I think the key is, can we please do that in a way that is respectful? And by respectful, I mean, can we be open to the notion that my view may not be the only one that's right, that may not be right at all, that I could be persuaded and that uh, I don't um, throw people into a box marked uh, unacceptable and terrible views just because they say something that I don't agree with. So, and I th actually think there's a huge amount for my party, the SNP, to gain by having that open, constructive debate because, you know, people in Scotland aren't daft. They know that there are difficult things to discuss and sort out. And it actually, just maybe, they would quite like to see a party doing that. So, so my, my view now is, you know, it's, it's not for, for what it's worth, given that, you know, grow up didn't work, is could, could we be grown ups and actually have grown up discussions at, about difficult issues to try and work out what we think might be the right way to uh, lead on these? And can we do that as openly and transparently as possible? Because you know, my party, I want my party to do what I think we tried to do during COVID, and that is treat the population of Scotland as adults.